Loves, welcome to another pick a card reading based on what you guys been telling me. Um, I've been looking to see what kind of a card reading you guys want to have and um, this one came out more often. However, I will have more of these ones for you guys. I know you guys are loving it. So um, this one is about what kind of star seed you are and what are your magical powers or your supernatural abilities are. Okay, um, we're gonna take a look at that and um, let's start, okay? You guys have three options. One is a butterfly, kind of like a cosmic butterfly you could say it it has this the sun and the moon the sun and the moon on the wings of this butterfly okay so there's a butterfly on the left um, we have um, this is um, Pegasus feather based on the artist who created it so this is a Pegasus feather for some of you that maybe you are drawn into it okay and um, the last one we have the koi fish okay and it also has that yin yang energy into it it also has the moon and the sun okay so there is that yin and yang all right so pick whatever that um, resonates with you and we're gonna start just a second all right so let's just start um we're gonna start with on the left with the butterfly with the cosmic butterfly you want to call it or with the moon and the sun and the sun butterfly okay so we're gonna move um these ones aside and then i will have them once i want to continue these ones as well all right guys let's move these ones aside and let's start okay for those of you that you have picked this beautiful um sun and the moon butterfly what kind of a star seed you are um i feel like you are um you are a kind of a star seed that you have a lot of um uh energy in you that could be very contradictory okay it could be that um your internal and external life is not very much aligned usually it could be that you always have this feeling of um the opposite within you okay like there's always a fight between your um left brain and your right brain or maybe there's always a fight between your masculine or feminine side of you okay and the reason that you have this internal conflict is because you are meant to transform or transmute all of these um, contradictory feelings that you have. You might even feel that the world is not a place that you want to live in. You might be feeling that what you, um, what you are experiencing within you is so different from the outside world and it's just totally not aligned. So why you are here is because you're here to transform and one of your greatest abilities that you have one of your supernatural abilities that you have is you are able to transform easily um, especially I feel like you are very very um, when it comes to change, when it comes to transformation, this is your power. It's almost like as if, you know, it could be that you are that kind of a star seed that you could have had a very, very difficult childhood, okay? But um, it was meant, those challenges, the time that you were in the cocoon was meant to make you strong and also make a butterfly out of, the, out of you. Like you were meant to become a butterfly. And this is not a very usual, butterfly this is um, I feel like for those of you that you have picked this you are able to balance these energies within you perfectly when you reach a certain um, uh, time of your life when your powers are going to be at their maximum level all right so and butterflies are very powerful um animal totem but i feel like in this case it also talks about you um, maybe taking a risk given to become a human or experience human life here so 
I feel like it took um, a lot out of you to be here on earth all right but it's also what they are telling me is that you're here to experience that duality okay that um, maybe like being able to balance these energies within you very very beautiful very very beautiful okay so let's see let's see um, what else the spirit is saying and we're also going to draw um, more cards for you guys and it says uh, my mind body and soul are filled with harmonious healing energy okay so i feel like you are meant to bring harmony within these energies within this um masculine and feminine within the moon and the sun um within the intuition and maybe like the ego you know like the marriage of the spirit and the material and it says my mind body and soul are filled with harmonious healing energy so um for those of you that you have picked this one of your also greatest gifts is that you're extremely intuitive okay could even have um cancer or pisces perhaps in your chart as well because i'm seeing that um one of your greatest gifts is in your intuition all right um for some of you the other gift that you have is also your healing powers okay but your healing power comes in when you master it yourself first okay so that's why you have been going perhaps through a lot of difficulties in the past this is beautiful i mean this is the moon energy if you guys take a look okay um i feel that all of these perhaps um maybe obstacles that you had to overcome um, was meant to make you a great healer was meant to make you um someone very very like um, intuitive someone that they trust their intuition when it comes to um, difficulties in life okay so this is yeah, one of your superpower i feel like you guys have also that healing energy like being able to having that holistic approach perhaps towards life for mind body and soul all right like to align all of that together okay this is beautiful and um maybe for some of you you are also have a gift of working with the uh, cycles of the moon as well okay so the moon has is one of your greatest allies all right one of the greatest um allies that helps you to maybe use your talent okay use your healing um powers okay let's see what else kind of like supernatural um abilities you guys have you also have freedom spread your wings okay so um one of your other gifts that you have is that you are a free spirited person you're also meant to bring uh, freedom into the world you are meant to fly and says spread your wings so you know you are here to fly okay you're not here to stay in your cocoon you're not here to stay safe you're here to fly and um I feel like one of the greatest gifts that you also have is to bringing freedom into humanity by by flying, um, you know, um, to your full uh, potential or reaching your full potential. You're also um, perhaps bringing the gift of freedom to humanity as well. All right. Um, I feel like it has to do with mastering the world within. And by doing that, you're going to find freedom. I also feel like it has something to do with your internal world okay so once you do that i feel like you're going to be experiencing that freedom but also bringing that freedom perhaps into the world as well i also see that you are meant to maybe even affect other people around you even like your soulmate or your twin family like there is someone else with you i feel like you're going to be inspiring others um to also feel that freedom okay so this is another um gift that you have the gift of freedom the gift of healing okay all right what else what kind of a star seed and it says temple of celestial revelations angelic assistant truth salvation majesty okay so and we also have um number nine i feel like um for some of you guys one of your magical gift is that you can easily um see the truth in other people okay i feel like you have some 
maybe angelic um, assistance or maybe some angels or guys that assisting you to see the truth of other people okay so I feel like you have a gift of seeing the truth as well okay and because of that i feel like you are someone who can be a very very powerful healer okay or someone very very intuitive you could even be um i don't know why i'm seeing like you're someone that you can reveal the truth to other people okay like someone who says the truth all right and that could be maybe you talk about things that maybe other people don't want to talk about either in youtube or you are that kind of a star state that you are meant to bring that um to bring the truth into uh into humanity like saying the truth like being the truth all right this is another thing that spirit is saying okay that's beautiful and let's see what else about you we also have ether the seamless unspeakable all right so and we have number 11 i feel like you know for some of you that you are watching this and you are thirsty as i said you are here to speak the unspeakable okay the things that people maybe don't talk about even when it comes to like let's say um, esoteric knowledge or maybe even like you have you are meant to be here to um, I don't know even talk about taboo things things that are taboo things that other people just don't want to talk about or they're afraid because it's the truth and they're afraid that you know they might be shut down they might be like you know um, this is what I'm saying for you guys I feel like you guys are meant to work with um, with the angelic realms or with your guides all right in order to bring the truth into humanity um, i also feel like maybe you're going to be using some like healing methods or something that maybe others haven't been um this haven't discovered it yet it's like you're going to bring something new um into the world okay like the truth salvation angelic assistance wow beautiful okay and um, what else do we have we also have um, caution guidance clarity stand firm so exactly i feel like you are meant to you you are someone that you have like very very clear vision um, even like when other people are not saying the truth i feel like you can see the truth very very clearly all right um i also feel like you're someone that you can you know warn other people when they are in danger or someone is lying to them okay this is beautiful i feel like definitely you are someone very very intuitive for sure and um and one of your gift is having that clarity of vision okay having that clarity and also talking about things that other people don't want to talk about okay let's see what else about you okay let's see guys hmm. all right let's see what else about you guys what other gifts do you have yeah i mean i'm seeing that you guys are the ones that you like to free yourself from maybe authority or people who are constraining you or constraining others like encouraging others to find their own freedom as well all right um okay that's beautiful a lot of blue and purple tones so i feel like you are like coming where you are coming from your star system could be like somewhere that is like kind of like uh bluish or purplish okay let's see what else about it we have um what do we have oh my goodness gracious we have the purification and it says oromesis um and we also have the light ship earth okay and it says personal and planetary healing this is beautiful for some of you i feel like you know where you are coming from uh maybe your um your planet um use fire in a way okay use fire maybe in like 
um, for healing I don't know use use of fire is being showed up like very very strongly like for purification or for healing you're gonna bring some kind of a new uh, method into life like method into um, the healing methodology or something that hasn't been done before and it's done with fire I don't know why they're bringing like fire but this is what they are saying it could be that you also have fire elements in your chart as well and that's why it's been showed up but it says light ship earth so you are you came to earth okay you came to earth to um once you heal yourself or once you it says personal and planetary healing so your main purpose i feel like it's about um healing all right it's about healing so um your superpower is definitely a healer okay you have healing abilities and by healing yourself i feel like you're going to be able to heal the planet or heal the earth as well this is beautiful because um it's almost like as if your spaceship like you know landed here and um, your job or your like kind of like mission is to basically heal yourself on a personal level and by doing that you're going to be healing the whole earth you're going to be healing the whole like humanity or um, like in um, it's like in higher scale all right so healing abilities and also being able to speak the truth like you know giving people like freedom all right this is another thing that they're saying hold on a second okay let's see let's find out more about your um let's find out more about your planet okay hmm. what should i use here yeah i think i'm gonna use more of these ones for some reason i feel like i should be using these okay let me see what else about your star system okay and we have the aura cleansing replenishment replenishment renewal restoration definitely like you're gonna be like you know your superpower is about healing number eight so life at number eight and also number nine was being emphasized but yeah your main um power is your power of healing by transformation actually i don't know it's almost like as if you know um with the fire here comes like the energy of like you know um, arising from the ashes like the phoenix or the butterfly you know the um, symbol of transformation i feel like you're meant to bring that healing that renewal energy definitely like um being a healer is being showed up and this is interesting because um I don't know if you guys can see but this looks like a person that has like a fire comes like heat comes from their hand so i feel like you have that ability okay um in your star system people have like ability to heal like um, maybe even without touch so it's almost like reiki but in a different way i feel like your hands might get like really hot or something like that all right and you will learn you will learn how to use this powerful gift okay let's see what else um oh my god this one is really really powerful okay let's see what else about your star system i want to know also like from what exactly kind of a star system you are from all right let's ask a spirit about that see where you guys are from as well let's see all right oh my goodness okay we have the double mission <laughs> and it says light workers star seed serve the world by being you oh my goodness guys this is your confirmation so you have a double mission okay there is a double mission and i feel like maybe for some of you um it could be like with your twin flame for some of you that i'm seeing all right like there is one that you're going to be accomplishing and there's going to be another one all right because i could see that there is also somebody else with you all right there is also someone else with you but um definitely like you know they are confirming that there is like a double mission here for you let me see where you guys are from 
spirit please tell me which um oh my goodness gracious okay well let's see um it says earth school okay life, life lessons soul growth study higher learning so you're here to basically grow and learn lessons you know earth is your school okay earth is your school and you're here to heal yourself and by doing that you know heal other people as well so this is beautiful and the other thing is that it says the weight of the world boundaries let it go is not yours to carry so you could be like you know as i said you could be um it's that kind of a star state that you carry a lot of weight of the world in your shoulders and you might learn how to have boundaries with other people okay because you're very you could be very like a sponge you know like getting other people's energy very very easily all right let me ask again about your star system okay it says what are your garden nourishment body care tenderness rest i don't know for some of you um you could also have water element of course but they're saying that for some of you you're meant to like have like spas or this but it's almost like a retreatment some kind of a very special retreatment where you heal other people in your own way it could be like non-conventional i mean i feel like it's not going to be like doing yoga and all of that i feel like it's a completely different kind of a methodology it's really really powerful um I don't know i'm seeing like kind of a, like a spa or something that you know you guys gonna be like um opening or helping other people with so definitely also like you're gonna be one of your also superpowers are that you are someone that um gonna teach other people how to take care of themselves especially body you know body nourishment um i feel like you guys are healers that you're gonna be healing um other people like body i don't know body is being showed up very very strong now let me see what if what else about your star system i feel like water element is also like something that spirit is telling me is interesting because they're telling me that you guys have like a, some kind of like opposite elements okay like by combining these like two opposite elements you guys are going to be able to like heal okay you guys going to be able to heal and serve and it says serve the world by being you okay all right let me see spirit please tell me about okay we have activated airs power places lead lines trust where you are led so for some of you they're saying that there are some um places on earth that you might be guided to go to all right there are some places and this is activated earth these are like the places that are going to be activating your gifts all right um okay let me let me see okay the blue flame oh my goodness yeah you guys are blue flame so the star system that you guys are coming from i feel like you guys are arcturus all right you guys could be arcturus this is the star system that i'm saying and it says a spontaneous awakening activation integration time so if you're watching this then i feel like your time is coming um maybe you had awakening okay for some of you you just awakened um so just know that you are a blue flame all right you could also be a twin flame as well okay twin flame with blue rays um and they're saying like the time of activation for you is here it also says the star bathing light body crystal grid transmission activation um i'm also saying that you guys are gonna be like working with um, crystals on other people's body you're gonna be putting like crystal grids or things like that on other people's body and you're gonna be healing others your um yeah this is light body crystal grid transmission activation your uh, basically your uh, mission here is to also perhaps heal other people and take them to their light body okay like you know taking away maybe the heaviness of the earth or the heaviness of the treaty and assisting them 
into getting um, maybe their light body activated I feel like you're gonna be learning how to do that yourself okay so something is like being showed up I don't know like start bathing I feel like you're gonna be like I don't know having like these like crystal baths or something really like innovative you guys are gonna be doing that is gonna be healing other people's body very very powerful name okay so i feel like you guys are yeah the blue flame you guys are the blue flame i feel like you you could be like arcturians okay with double uh, mission here all right with the double mission let me see what else oh my god these are going to be really really like long pick a card reading so get ready just a second okay i don't know what it is but they're telling me that you came here to also integrate some of the earth's energies into your healing abilities or into your healing methodology it's almost like using the opposite elements um, because you guys are good with like using water and crystals but then i feel like here you are also maybe going to be doing something with fire as well but in fire i feel like it also has to do with your healing abilities in your hands so your hands has like the ability and i'm seeing like you guys are like having people like i don't know lying down and performing some kind of a star baiting yeah i feel like this is like your superpower like you're going to be able to heal people not even by touching them i mean it's almost like reiki i would have to say but i feel like it's more powerful than reiki okay what else they want to say and this is warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling so when you are watching this i feel like you are being asked to step into that mission okay and it says like a warrior woman meaning that um you know you guys have that warrior energy in you as well someone who is like very very like extremely powerful but maybe you haven't been answering the call of sp your spirit of your soul yet because they are telling you to call that your deepest calling, to answer that deepest calling. Um, yeah, someone who doesn't really give up, okay? Someone who fights for freedom, all right? This is also one of your gifts or one of your like power, but it's almost like as if when you, um, and you might be telling yourself like what kind of a super natural ability is that, but I feel like you're able to just even like by your words like um maybe like even like freeing people from uh, something that could be like trapped in their bodies okay i don't know if it's making sense but it's like you're like very very powerful even like with your words even like with your um i don't know you could be even like touching someone and then you're gonna be like freeing certain parts of their body that are like blocked okay this is what i also see um okay all right guys now i think i'll get one more thing and then i'll be moving to the other oh my god all right it just came out we have number 22 and it says drawing down the sun wildfire divine masculine magnificence witness all right something about like using the energy of the sun as well i don't know how you guys are going to be doing that but they're saying like you're going to be using the energy of the sun as well for your healing uh, for healing others i feel like also what i'm also hearing here is that you have like a divine masculine or someone who's gonna be also like helping you in your mission we have number 22 okay so i feel like you have like uh, more than one mission here there's another one with someone else as well and that could be like a twin flame or yeah definitely i feel like for some of you that could be like a twin flame mission okay let me draw one more card and then okay oh my god this is crazy guys this is really really crazy drying down the moon divine feminine and drying down the sun i mean look at that 
you're meant to kind of like combine these two energies and heal other people like maybe even like helping them to balancing these energies within themselves all right so this is beautiful this is really really beautiful i feel like not only like you are like very very like intuitive but also very kind of like having that warrior like energy in you so how you can you know um, achieve that is by balancing these energies within yourself okay and you will be transformed i feel like your and your uh, mission will be fulfilled here um yeah like your greatest gift is to combining these two energies this like kind of like contra you know they're like very opposite but they complement each other all right they complement it's like the night and the day the sun and the moon oh my goodness guys okay so and uh again we have number 11 as well all right this is powerful you guys are definitely like um blue flames all right so and the time for integration has come so maybe for some of you it's about like you're gonna be meeting your twin flame too to like um go for this second mission all right if you're already like doing all of that all right so okay guys just a second <coughs> all right and also i feel like you might be like guided to go in certain parts of the earth okay um i don't know you will be guided to go somewhere else maybe for some of you you're going to be moving as well because of this mission okay very very beautiful all right very very beautiful yeah like auric cleansing i also see that you guys are going to be like performing that on other people's body as well oh my god this is crazy beautiful yeah like the blue you see like there are a lot of like blue um uh colors here and that's why you know spirit is saying that you guys are the blue flames this is how your aura looks like okay like in your star like original star being oh my god this is so beautiful yeah okay number 11 again all right guys okay so this is with you guys and um let's get to the next one <coughs> just a second all right so let's get to the pegasus feather all right so if you have picked the pegasus feather what kind of a star seed you are i feel like you are um you are a kind of a star seed that is very sensitive like a true empath okay you are a true empath and um also i feel that for those of you that you are um being drawn to this i feel like your um star family your star system maybe like um, downloads and information comes from your angels maybe i feel like the angels are like between you and them kind of a thing like there is like a communication like that happening um between the angelic realm and perhaps like your star family all right so i feel like your star family are also very like light or very like angelic almost all right like they're very very um pure energy okay very pure energy very like light like a feather and also like you have very exceptional magical powers that we're going to take a look i feel like for some of you you know in your original star system you had the ability to fly actually all right so that is beautiful and um let me see let me see like what is the spirit is saying about your star system it says i am peace my life is filled with serenity i exist in harmony okay so i feel like you know you guys are here to bring peace here on earth um, by finding peace within yourself okay by finding serenity all right within yourself and also um you know what they are telling me here is that you guys have like you guys have the ability not only you had the ability to fly but also i don't know like to swim into like 
different dimensions to fly or to swim like into different dimensions um, and also like wherever you go you bring peace into that environment all right we have the veil okay we have the veil and it's like very very peacefully like moving towards the cosmos i feel like you're meant to bring peace here on earth all right you're a very very peaceful person very serene kind of a person um yeah, I don't know maybe like you love veils as well like you love animals okay um, I feel like you know you especially maybe came here to also experience something in the animal kingdom as well there's a connection with animal kingdom all right that we're gonna take a look as well let's see what else they're saying it says guidance you are divinely guided okay so for those of you that you have picked this you could be like psychics you are really really powerful psychics all right could have air and water in your charts okay and you are your supernatural ability is that you can see um the energies of the future okay you are very very like futuristic and you're always gonna be like guided um by i feel like by spirit animals by angelic realms okay so the other thing is that you're meant to be the guide for others all right there's a crystal ball here so i feel like you guys are gonna be like maybe guiding other people like maybe you're a psychic that you are watching this okay maybe you have like this crystal ball or maybe there is like a connection to seeing the future all right this is one one of your greatest gifts or supernatural ability is is that you can see the future and you can guide people through that all right because you are divinely guided definitely um i also feel like you know by doing that you also bring peace into other people's life okay you're meant to bring peace and serenity as well and as well as guidance like guiding other people all right what else we also have subatomic uh, velocity and it says acceleration simulation ex um, excitation so oh my goodness so you guys have really really special abilities to see far like in future okay and i'm talking about 10 years 20 years I'm talking about like crazy like far away and um, I also feel like you guys have a very um, even though you guys are very calm but I feel like your energy goes really fast okay so sometimes you might be even like looking at someone and then you know their future you're like you can like see so many things like ahead all right I feel like other people might think that you could be like very um, like you might be shown to other people as very calm and not having a lot to say but underneath it's like uh, i don't know it's like something like uh, uh, i don't know it's like a um, fast paced sort of like energy going within like you know your dna it's like moving moving and you get like all this information like from left and right all right so i feel like it's hard for you maybe to sometimes to find that peace within yourself so that could be your challenge as well to find peace within you because there's a whole lot of things that you know and maybe you want to share with the world and it's fast space it's like i don't know i feel like you guys have like these um visions that comes to you like from left and right just like that okay so yeah your ability to see the future is something like crazy all right it's, it's just like other people might not even understand it like you might be even predicting something and then 20 years later 10 years later people are like wow you know she or he already said that okay so yeah definitely like psychic very like powerful psychic like it's not like okay i'm gonna tell you like what is going on now or i'm not gonna tell you like what is going on like what is gonna happen like in one year no we're talking about like far in the future all right you guys can see that and um we also have new blueprints so you're here to bring like something absolutely like different into this world okay new blueprints like you guys are here to bring something like just um you know maybe the world has not seen before when it comes to 
like maybe even like psychic abilities all right um and yes of course there has been psychics that they ha could have predicted the future you know in a you know in a very powerful way but i feel like you guys have like you know a really crazy ability like to give detailed information about future and also about like maybe even uh, multi-dimensional information something new something like uh, it's just completely different from the way that maybe like some people have seen like fortune telling let's say all right something like you guys are you guys are going to be able to bring that that's why you guys have the pegasus feather it's like you guys are so magical you guys are very very magical and of course there's that blue um purplish um again the pile number one there was also that and there was also a butterfly so um, i don't know um it could be like you maybe you're resonating with both but we also have number 15 and it says the spirit world messages assistance memories okay hmm. i feel like you guys have like a very very powerful connection to the spirit world you guys get these like messages even like maybe you guys even have um uh like when you look at someone you can tell like you can see their memories um like when you touch someone or even like not like even when somebody is like within like few like maybe even um like a little bit of a distance from you you can even like by looking at them or by like when they pass you you might be able to see their memories i don't know you guys also have that ability to see other people's memories all right um quite powerful like kind of like the past all right but i feel like you guys are more of like futuristic however like you can also see what is going on in someone's like um um like memory like what they had experienced okay a very very special connection to the spirit world you guys have okay let's see what else about you guys just a second okay let's see what else about you guys <laughs> okay let's get some of these cards as well okay let's see spirit please tell me what else about this group okay we have the poetics of light creation okay and what else we have we also have um my teria and it says wisdom of the ages okay so for those of you that you have picked this pile you guys are like very old souls okay you guys are old souls that coming from like very ancient maybe even star systems okay your star system has been here for quite a long time and i feel like you guys have gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom sorry just a second and um I feel like you guys are like very poetic as well maybe very good with your words okay you guys are very good with your words but also what spirit wants to tell you is that uh, you guys are meant to create some kind of a new blueprint here all right something that never been done before and you can do it because you have all of these wisdom in you um you guys know a lot you guys have a lot of wisdom but the difficulty is like you know how to ground these energies and how to kind of like process all of these energies that kind of like are always like accelerated you know um yeah the velocitor like a subatomic velocitor is almost like boom 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 it's like you know it's a stimulate you all the time and it could be like a little bit hard to um ground it but definitely like you guys are here to like create something the poetics of light like meaning that like creating something i feel like out of like nothing almost um working with light also is being shown like in a way i don't know um <clears throat> you guys are good like with physics actually yeah with physics you guys are good at it but let me see what else We also have liberation and it says enlightenment. Okay. 
what else do we have here we also have new earth okay and we also have sananda all right guys so for those of you that you are that you pick this you guys are like masters right now you guys are like um you have reached like a certain level in your um soul journey that you have mastered all of these like wisdom all of these like um um perhaps like even master the world within you we have number three all right so i feel like you guys are like master um you guys could be like even um working with ascended masters but i feel like you guys are all or like masters yourselves okay and um for those of you that you have picked this i feel like you're gonna reach like some kind of a um, I don't know like enlightenment in this lifetime and that is gonna bring like the new earth okay it's gonna help like this um, by bringing this new earth transformation in new earth so I feel like for some reason I feel like this is a little bit continuation of pile one I don't know if you guys haven't watched it I feel like it could be because um, it's very very similar yeah because um well a lot of like star seeds are here to like assist with new earth all right but i feel like you guys are gonna be doing something that it's also never been done before okay yeah because look at like the new blueprints all right like you guys are gonna be leaving something that is just gonna be new and it's gonna last for like generation after generation okay so this is beautiful yeah and with the butterfly there is like that transformation like assisting with new earth and using your wisdom all right using your wisdom um yeah you guys are like very like have mastered a lot of skills uh, even like from your previous lifetimes as well that i see okay just a second <clears throat> all right now let me see what else about you guys for some reason i want to get a little bit more of this one i'm also gonna see what kind of star system you are from all right but i feel like that is not like the whole point the whole point is like what are your abilities are what you are here to do what you're here to do what you're meant to do and it says oh my goodness gracious look at that our ancient future and it says mount shasta okay i feel like you guys are like you know ancient souls that you can see the future and it says our ancient future it's almost like as if you have seen the future you know what is going to happen you have like a lot of like knowledge about it our ancient future just a second here guys all right okay now the other thing that you know spirit is mentioning is that you guys are uh, meant to go somewhere like in mount shasta is being showed up um sorry guys i don't know i need to change the light is a little bit bothering me okay oh my goodness so many like technical issues here i do apologize for this interruption a little bit okay let me see all right so um yeah i feel like you guys are like really really old souls and you guys can see the future all right you guys definitely can see the future but it's like as i said like very very far future something that maybe it's like i don't know how to explain it i don't know if you guys have seen like in movies where they show like okay 20 years after you know 10 years after kind of a thing all right and that's why it says our ancient future it's almost like as if you been there you know you had experienced this future i feel like you guys have the ability to travel into different timelines oh my goodness yes this is something that they're also saying and we have like these two fish um the yin yang all right i also feel like there is some kind of a you guys could be like twin flames as well that you're watching this and there is a connection to mount shasta 
um, I feel like your mission is meant to be in that place so pay attention to that or I feel like you guys have the ability to also um, do like maybe astral project go to like different parts of the world especially Mount Shasta is being showed up I don't know guys for some reason I feel like this could be like a little bit of a continuation of pile one so maybe for some of you you've been also being drawn to this but anyways you know for everyone could be like different but Mount Shasta for you guys is gonna be this the place where you're gonna like I don't know there's some kind of a mission in this place um, and of course you know there is like an energy uh, connection to Saint Germain all right, there's a connection to Saint Germain and also like bringing that um, new earth energy, something new that you guys are going to be bringing with your vision. And you're going to be guided, you're going to be like divinely guided to it. Um, okay, let's see what else about you guys. Okay, what do I want to get you? Yeah, let's get off some of these ones. Okay, let me see what kind of um, star seed you are as well, and what is the, what else the spirit wants to say? It says jump in, Andromedian energy, adventure, say yes to change. So, for some of you guys that you are watching this, you could be an Andromedian, okay? And take a look at that, like research that. But I feel like this is like your uh, original star system okay and remember that a lot of star seeds they have like different experiences in different star systems so just because like you're an Arcturian or if you're Andromedian that doesn't mean that you cannot be any of those because you could have had experience in different star systems okay and it says um, jump in that's like I feel like your energy honestly is like you can travel through um, t different timelines it's like look at that you're jumping to like a different timelines like easily you know easily I, and i feel like it's like you know after you discover all of this i feel like life is going to be like a adventure for you and you just going to be love like you know to go through all, like all of these like changes that actually is happening maybe even right now on earth all right you might be even like guided to go to certain places like mount shasta with like these powerful powerful like um you know star seed energies that it has around it as you guys know it's a very very powerful spiritual portal um there is in mount Shasta, and there's a connection to saint germain and also atlantis all of those ancient civilizations all right i feel like you guys have the ability to move through the past and the future all right like traveling traveling in time is your greatest gift it also says, I'm sorry, defense, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. So um, I also feel like you guys are like here to also something like a wound in you that you need to like heal it. And it's about maybe forgiving yourself, forgiving the past. Okay, something about the past. Maybe you've seen a lot, so it could have been a little bit difficult to forgive either yourself or like things that you have done or other people. All right, so I think it's important for you guys that you are watching this to having that compassion for yourself and also for other people. And maybe even um, for some of you, you're here to like, maybe something was like done in the past and you are coming back here to make it right okay it could be like an ancestral um i don't know healing as well that you guys might be doing okay so it's important for you guys because um i feel like it has to, like you guys have like a very very like deep root here you guys as i said are ancient souls so there is some kind of a karma as well i feel like there's like a you know very very heavy karma and it is with someone else okay so i feel like you guys could be like twin flames as well that you're watching this maybe there's something that you guys need to like make it right i don't know it's like a, a lesson that you need to learn or some kind of a karma perhaps okay let me see <clears throat> so definitely andromedian energy is coming let me get one more and then 
All right, what else? We also have lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. I mean, you guys can like, you know, uh, take the veil and like, you know, like make it like, you know, you can lift it and see the truth or you can see the reality behind like everything. Like you guys are those ones that you question everything. All right. And I feel like you're going to, as I said, reach a point in your journey where you are just going to be like anything that is not aligned in your life. It has to go. All right. You guys are going to be like discovering a world that is unbelievably beautiful. Okay. And you might want to just like jump in and go. I mean, you guys have the ability, as I said, to go from like one timeline to another. Okay, so this is your ability. I mean, this is like one of your other abilities to lifting the veil, like to seeing what is actually behind, you know, uh, the scenes of the universe. Like what is actually happening? All right. You guys have that um, magical gift of like, you know, seeing the truth. And that's because you guys could be like very curious as well. All right. Very curious to know about um like you know maybe um the world around you okay guys um i think i'll give you guys one last card and then i'm done with you guys and then i'm gonna move to the other pile as well okay <clears throat> okay i'm also seeing like some rainbow energy so you guys like you know where you are from it could be like you know having like all of these like rainbow colors sort of like energies and dromedian energy definitely we have hydrogen atom and this is consciousness beginning fate oh my god for some reason like this atom or like this atomic energy is coming like very very strongly and i feel like you guys are meant to like bring some kind of a new consciousness into earth okay um maybe restoring faith maybe there is like a new well you know in any case it's like you guys are meant to bring this new earth all right um you're gonna be able to do that and i feel like it starts with you like it starts like internally and then you guys are going to be able to do that for um the world as well like bringing a new consciousness and um, what else they're saying it says cosmic um, calibrator universal attunement repatterning guidance so <clears throat> you guys are here to like correct the patterns that maybe has happened in the past all right like making it right maybe the injustice maybe things that um, i don't know even like ancestral patterns and things like that all right i feel like you guys are going to be like guiding other people towards like aligning um <clears throat> with the universal energy of truth with the universal energy um i feel like you guys are definitely like cosmic calibrators i don't know this is like what spirit is telling me also like color like green is also being showed up for your like star system green but also like very rainbow sort of like colors all right so okay guys just a second <coughs> okay so this is about this pile and um, i hope that you guys enjoyed it <clears throat> now i'm gonna move into the third pile <clears throat> and my voice is already gone oh my goodness guys okay hopefully i have like you know voice to continue just a second here <clears throat> all right so let's get into the last but not least the koi fish okay so um for some of you that you have picked this i feel like there is that um definitely again like there is that yin yang energy and i also feel like you guys are extremely like emotional very like extreme empaths okay um i also feel like you guys are very um 
I don't know, I'm seeing like very, very emotional. Where you come from, I feel like emotions are very much like accepted or <clears throat> or it's very common to like feel your feelings. All right. Whereas like here on earth, you could have you could have issues with um like overwhelming feelings all right for some of you maybe you are like actually have pisces in your chart as well all right for some of you that you're watching not for all of you but for some of you and i feel like you're extremely intuitive but also sometimes your emotions could be like very very overwhelming and um, your gift is actually is a gift of being very very sensitive all right your sensitivity is your gift all right or your um but i'm gonna see like what is actually your supernatural power as well um i feel like your um let me take a look at that but i feel like you guys are also have that yin yang energy the energy of the masculine and feminine so maybe for some of you yes you could also be a twin flame that you are watching i feel like all of these pies they have like that twin fame energy in them but anyways it doesn't really matter there's like you know we all have that masculine and feminine energy within us all right so i feel like also maybe like you always have like this thing about like the war between the light and the dark within you all right like maybe you get like very very emotional all of a sudden i don't know this is um, what I'm seeing for you guys. But emotions, I feel like in your um, star system, it's like quite accepted, whereas here it could be very challenging for you guys. And let's see what it says. It says, um, divine energy flows through me. There is a star here. This is beautiful. And it says, I am a radiant being. So I feel like, I feel like there is something about like you guys are like this like a star that men, means meant to be shining your light but i feel like maybe you know it's gonna be like uh dimmed when you are like you know when you're like a, uh when you were a kid maybe you know you're not gonna be realizing that maybe you feel like being emotional is like a weakness but you're actually meant to shine your light to the world okay to being who you really are all right um but i feel like somehow this energy could have been like trapped within you it's almost like there's a star within you there's something that wants to shine but you've been like putting it in a cage you've been afraid of it you've been feeling ashamed of it and it's time to like actually let it like let it like flow all right the divine energy flows through me like feeling your feelings like allowing to you know be sensitive allowing yourself to feel all of these feelings all right because it's actually your gift okay so like you're meant to shine all right just like the stars but i feel like you know you're also going to be a guide for other people there is like a lantern here and i feel like with the you know um with activating that um star within you you're also going to be guiding perhaps other people or being by who you really are i am a radiant being okay now um let's see about what else about this is gratitude i appreciate present blessings okay and there's like a rainbow i feel like um you know your um challenge here as a star seed is that um to live in the present moment for some of you maybe you're like there's that energy of like a little bit of like feeling like maybe depressed about what is going on in the world or the world is not a safe place or whatever that it is maybe you always like live in the future or in the past and i feel like your greatest maybe challenge is to live in the present moment or appreciate things that are happening right now you know having like that gratitude attitude all right um but i feel like overall you guys are very very grateful in general but i feel like you maybe you live like too much in the future or too much in the past and your challenge is going to be like living like um in the present moment more but let's see like what are your supernatural abilities are okay i'm gonna think i feel like um it says lunar progressor and it says emotional equilibrium um compassionate non-attachment all right guys i feel like you guys are very very emotional and this is like your gift okay and um i feel like you're meant to like 
your supernatural ability is like you can feel other people's feeling um, you know exactly what is going on with someone <clears throat> and because you are very compassionate I feel like you can assist others or you can be a guide to them without like getting like you know attached to other people's emotion I feel like it's also very challenging for you guys to be here because you absorb other people's emotions and feelings all right or maybe that's why you guys like not wanting to sometimes to be in the present because it can be very overwhelming okay it could be very very overwhelming but you guys are like emotional equilibrium lunar progressor um, could be like working with the energy of the moon as well it's going to help you guys to kind of like find that emotional balance but in any case i feel like you guys by finding that emotional balance within yourself you're going to be able to guide others as well very very compassionate yes um let's see what else the spirit wants to say it says heart chakra unfurling back to love so you guys can see what it is in other people's hearts okay you can feel it you can um, you know what is happening in a person's heart maybe for some of you it's like their heart chakra energy could be very like obvious to you guys you guys can see it very very clearly all right and i also feel like maybe for some of you it's a challenge for you to open your heart and uh, maybe it, you know it's like um and that's because like you guys are very emotional all right you guys are very like heart centered but like at the same time maybe sometimes you feel like it's not safe to be you or to shine your light okay because um there could be like sometimes a blockage in your heart chakra but in any case your supernatural abilities like you can see what is happening inside someone's heart you can see their emotions their feelings all right what else we also have the airborne craft the regression plant medicine caretaker bloomers so one of your other gift is like you guys are good with like alchemy or things that has to do with herbs okay um even like having herbs or having like these i don't know aromatherapy like plant medicine all right like you guys can be like very very good at that and i feel like the planet that maybe you come from has a lot of like remedies but these are not maybe um i feel like they are like you know how to maybe um energize certain um properties of a plant or like i don't know putting like extra things in it like crystals or like having it like charging it under the moonlight i don't know there's something like you guys know as a method like more than anyone else okay could be like um I don't know for some of you i feel like you guys are very good with alchemy or with things that have like liquid i don't know liquid is coming to me like something that has to do with like alchemy chemistry all right but in a very like magical way we have number seven okay it could be like life paths number seven if you guys go to like do things that has to do with herbs or with herbal craft or, or like plant medicine and things like that you guys are gonna succeed all right you guys gonna succeed but i feel like you guys have like a potion like these like um like healing potions or things like that that are gonna be like helping other people um helping people with their emotions not with their bodies this is what they are telling me like these are like something that you guys are going to be making either either physically or something as an ability that has uh that healing ability to heal other people okay but i feel like it's like an emotional healing it's like a heart healing in a way all right i mean it could be like herbs as well but for some of you i feel like it has to do with like emotions like being able to holistically maybe heal other people okay with like medicine with like some herbs or something like that is coming okay let me see this guy you guys are very very interesting actually because your gifts i feel like it's very uh heart centered very emotion based okay just a second
All right, and it's interesting because it's like saying like lunar progressor, right? And look at the moon, all right? It's like you're doing something and it's like under the moonlight. I don't know. Um, okay, let me take a look more for you guys because you guys are very interesting. <laughs> okay, um, let me see what else about you guys. It's like the flow of energy, divine energy flows through me. Hmm, it's almost like an emotional trap and you guys are going to be able to like unblock this emotional trap in other people perhaps all right by even like you know holistic medicine things like that just a second all right wow this group you guys are very magical too of course all the groups i feel like you know you guys have like beautiful uh talents and magical powers but let's see about you guys what else about you guys okay <laughs> let's see all right we have the earth star chakra okay so i feel like you guys are meant to work with earth elements okay um and why is that because i feel like it has something to do with emotions and you guys are going to be able to like um use certain maybe like plant medicines in order to like bring um harmony to people's like emotions or um i don't know something that has to do with emotional like healing which i feel like you guys are going to be working with earth element this is earth star chakra you could also have earth in your chart as well all right like i mean for some of you it could be pisces with earth in your chart but something that has to do with like and this is earth star chakra so it's like you guys with your third eye you guys can see what is like people's like emotional problem in their bodies maybe like the emotional trap in their bodies i don't know why i'm saying that okay and uh, it also says evolution <laughs> okay um i mean there is like a pisces energy here for some reason but um there's water element there's water and earth so there is water and earth element you guys are going to be working with these elements all right we also have the portal keeper okay so what else they are saying here is that i feel like you guys are meant to protect other people's like energy showing them how to protect their energy all right how to um even like ground themselves in order to find that emotional balance like even like a healing of a heart chakra in a way um i feel like also for you guys that you have picked this this kind of like a process is like very very like slow like you might like to take your time like very patient all right as a portal keeper it's almost like as if you guys are meant to protect the energies okay to protect like um to protect the heart i don't know to protect like um, people's auras or this is what i'm saying and i feel like this is something that you're going to be getting into like like you know very slowly okay it's going to be a very slow process and this is evolution so it's not going to happen like in a day i feel like you guys are going to be working on it for years and years and there is a dna so and it looks like she is like changing this dna or there is like this evolution happening slowly but surely all right but i feel like as a portal keeper it's almost like as if you are um protecting um humanity your job here is to protect maybe even like protect the heart protect the emotions protect the auras all right it's like you are a keeper the portal keeper like to making sure that like not bad energies don't come in okay because there is a lot of like energies will come and go but i feel like you guys are you know you guys are like meant to be like protecting the gate okay protecting the portal and i feel like this is like the divine 
portal maybe like accessing like um, higher energies or higher level energies kind of a thing and you guys are like protecting it let me get more about you guys but you guys are very interesting actually okay i mean i see like you guys are working with herbs as well like plant medicine and things like that but definitely like earth and water so i don't know what you guys are doing like maybe even like i don't know aromatherapy like making like potions i don't know things like that but let me see more and see like what kind of star system also you guys are are from okay you guys could also be like i don't know having like familiars like cats or like you guys could have like <clears throat> yeah definitely like maybe working like with familiars as well like cat maybe you have a cat like connection to like familiars all right like you have a familiar or working with a familiar let me see which star system or what is like your and it says all paths lead home inner authority intuition turn your gaze within okay all right what else we also have star ancestors all right hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper okay and we also have i remember soul plan the fated life versus the destiny life okay very interesting guys very interesting okay what else and it says <clears throat> empathic star seed yeah you guys are empathic star seed there is no doubt about it yeah you guys absorb other people's energy very easy and it also says loosen your grip um coping mechanism density addiction let god in all right oh i see for some of you what you guys are doing or what is it like um let me see what star system you guys are from actually let me see if i'm gonna get any answers it says you got the love hadarian energy all right hadarians codependency boundaries okay we also have called soul gifts training it's time to step up it looks like you are moving towards your gifts as well and also says inner earth you'll survive these new solutions and beginnings all right guys so i can tell you like you know some of you are meant to heal other people's emotional addiction and it could be like towards like even like you know when someone has like an addiction uh, when there's an emotional issue or emotional block they get into like alcoholism or some kind of addiction so you guys are meant to like unblock that or help other people with their emotional issues like you guys are meant to um, bring some kind of a maybe even like a hidden secret or knowledge from like previous lifetimes or lifetimes that you had experienced like especially Egypt okay is coming up very very strongly i feel like you guys are like know the secret like recipes or something that is gonna like help other people to um kind of like um heal their emotional baggage or emotional like or addiction or like helping them to like cope with like dense dense energies because a lot of you guys are going to be also assisting other star seeds okay and i feel like you're going to be able to help them to like kind of like let go okay to allow the divine energy to flow in but also maybe helping yourself maybe for some of you you've been like getting yourself out of addiction and you your job is also going to be helping or assisting other people with certain medicine but it's going to be very kind of like a, um, all of this is going to be happening to you a little bit slow slowly okay so don't expect things happening like right away because i feel like time is important here for you guys to understand like what is it exactly you need to do and hadorian uh, energy is coming okay and it says codependency boundaries um for some of you you're going to be learning about that okay codependent energy um learning about like um maybe for some of you you're going to be learning about that and also assisting other people on how not to be in a codependent relationship or having like strong boundaries as well or having like you know healthy boundaries actually you guys have a lot of lot of soul gifts and also like a lot of ancient wisdom i feel like you guys have like you know like these formulas or something especially from like ancient egypt 
um, that you guys have like the cure for a lot of like emotional issues it could also be body as well all right because yeah i mean you guys work with like herbs i mean this is like one of your greatest gift is like you have the ability to like combine like the elements of like liquid and like earthy things and making something that is gonna like help others with their emotional issues all right definitely like you guys are empathic star seeds okay so it's important for you guys to um finding like loan times because um you guys might be absorbing other people really easily all right um i also feel that um, your time has come okay to step into your destiny you're also like might not really remember who you really are it's almost like having that amnesia and all of a sudden you're going to be like um awakened and being called to step up to your mission okay and it says i remember so it could be like sometimes like maybe hard for you to remember who you really are because you are a you're an empathic like star seed this is who you really are all right it's just that you have to claim your sovereignty all right like sometimes like you need to be, maybe even like staying away from other people because there's a whole lot that you need to like share with the world and i feel like it starts within again as well all right and that's why it says inner earth you'll survive these new solutions and beginnings um i feel like you guys gonna have or have had like a lot of inner emotional turbulence or difficulties that you're going to overcome and also finding solutions later on for other people and this is inner earth it's almost like as if like uh, you guys are also going to be like discovering something about the ancient world or the lost wisdom okay this is another thing that i'm also seeing for you guys it also says inner authority it's almost like as if as if like you know giving yourself that permission to trust your inner authority as opposed to like trusting what is out there you know like trusting like the medicine that is like maybe they are giving to other people you guys are going to be like working with things that um are like far way like more advanced or far way like more um a holistic approach to like maybe healing other people's like emotional issues or even like body as i said and it says all paths lead home interesting intuition turn your gaze within it's almost like as if like you guys are going to be having all of this emotional turbulence yeah as i said like you know you guys are like empaths yeah like empathic star seeds and um your origins like your original like star system is hadarian <clears throat> okay hadarian energy is coming very very strong so take a look at that of course as i said you guys could be having like you know different experiences as star seeds so it's not only one thing okay just a second <clears throat> all right oh my god this is like really powerful um i'm just looking at your cards okay okay guys let me see what else about you guys um i don't know why i'm finding this pile very interesting <laughs> you guys are a little bit different from the the other two piles okay yeah you guys are like being called to like step into your soul gifts or and this is and training it's time to step it up yeah i feel like and it's like soul plan the fated life versus the destiny i feel like you're being called to step into your destiny as a star seed okay what else it says whispering heart choice okay <coughs> what else we also have crimson angel healing all right so um yeah something that has to do with healing of the heart emotional and we also have wings of light okay so you guys are like bringers of hope i feel like you guys are meant to bring hope 
okay into life of people that they are emotionally suffering perhaps all right like helping them to make even like ch healthy choices all right even like in in relationships perhaps okay something that has to do with the heart the healing of the heart as well all right like maybe even like relationship like coaches or um you know and it says crimson angel healing number 11 number nine as well you guys are like number nine life paths and that means like service to humanity um there's like that golden um ray energy is also coming so you guys could be like golden rain twin flames as well all right yeah i am a golden light oh my goodness oh my goodness life path number seven you guys are like um, golden rays all right you guys are golden rays okay so and i feel like for those of you that you have picked this you are a twin flame golden ray okay beautiful all right um i think i'm gonna get maybe one more of these one and then okay spirit please tell me more about this pile what else about them okay we have seal of metatron form structure foundation cosmology number nine again so life paths number nine you guys are meant to serve humanity very very powerful number okay in numer in numerology nine is a really really powerful number and um seal of metatron this is like archangel metatron energy and we also have blue star of hope ascension surrender purification you guys are like bringer of hope into humanity and this is blue star of hope so i don't know what it is but it's like and you see how this one also has the golden um gold energies or like yellow energies okay the wings of yeah it's like the positive news you guys are meant to bring like really like hope into humanity but also maybe bringing like um some kind of a new structure or foundation perhaps all right i feel like you guys are also going to be like um assisting humanity for in ascension um helping them to surrender yeah i feel like you guys are going to be assisting others like for in their ascension process and also like yeah like letting go you know and giving them hope yeah with wings of light positive news i feel like you guys are going to be bringing hope into the life of people also working with like archangel metatron seal of metatron working with metatron energy i feel like you guys are meant to like bring a new kind of a structure here definitely like um take a look at metatron but also they're talking about a blue star as well okay a blue star and also like uh, what else uh it says temple of um amethyst uh Am amethystia tranquility patience desolation okay you guys could also be like very very patient and that's why you can help other people a lot like you know um orient stargate power authority influence ambition so you guys could also be from the star system orient i don't know if it's like a blue star but they're saying like orients like you guys are orients um and orients are like very like you know they always have like having an uh, issue with authority when they are like kids and when they grow up it's almost like they need to like step to their own like um to claim their own authority to like claim that inner authority okay this is what they're saying like um what was that inner authority thing i don't know it's gonna be hard to find it but <clears throat> yeah inner authority you see it's like your uh basically challenges like to turn your gaze within like trusting your inner authority all right because you're very very powerful um are very like 
you know they always have like issue with authority they want to like bring new systems they are against what is like you know injustice in the world they could be also later on in their life like very influential or very um if you guys have like youtube channels or you're doing something publicly you guys could be like very like a huge influence okay you, you guys could be like um the influencers all right very very powerful influencers also life bad number seven or yeah sorry eight number eight is also being showed up the orient stargate um the temple of Amethystia yeah. and um, says tranquility patience yeah because you guys are like very maybe even like your challenge is going to be like being patient because these energies could be happening like very very slow and later on in your life okay <clears throat> but yeah it's like your superpower is like having that um inner authority having that influence on other people's life okay and also being able to bring hope okay the blue star of hope this is what they are also saying all right so <clears throat> just a second okay guys working with amethyst or with some also gold kind of like a yellowish color um, crystals are also being showed up goldish actually more of like goldish colors as well as being showed up all right guys i think that i'm gonna give you guys one last one and then we are done with all the readings okay <clears throat> oh my goodness i talked a lot now I, my voice is gone okay the last thing about you guys and it says trust the niggle what is uh, the niggling feeling trying to tell you so i feel like you guys are being called to step into your mission all right this is the time for you guys this is the time to step into your uh, mission here all right to bring hope into for humanity okay um maybe even like for you like surrendering to it yourself first um, before you can help others as well trust the niggle i feel like you guys are being called to step into something that maybe you know is your mission here yeah i feel like this is what you guys are meant to do it's like you're being called all right it's time to step it up all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading i'm sending all of you so much love and i hope that you enjoyed this reading i'm gonna come up with more pick a card readings so stay tuned <laughs>